Hello, everyone, and welcome to Research Methods for Psychology. There's going to be two parts to this course overview video. The first part is just me explaining some key elements of the course. And the second part, I'm actually going to turn on my screen share and do a video walkthrough so you know where to find everything that you will need for this course for the semester. Now, I am requiring you to watch both of these videos in their entirety and to make sure that that happens in the um, your syllabus agreement that you need to do. There's actually going to be keywords that you need to listen for in these videos that you're going to need to enter on your syllabus agreement to unlock the course. I promise you I'm not doing that to be difficult or to poke at you. It just helps me make sure that everyone has heard the same information the same way we would do if we were actually meeting in person and doing the traditional first day of class class overview information. So as I said, this is research methods for psychology. This class does have two components. There's the typical course and there's a lab. If you were taking this class in person, it would be divided into those two sections, right? You'd have class Monday, Wednesday, and Friday morning at 9 a.m. And then you'd have your lab Tuesday afternoon from 1 to 2.30 or whatever it might be. Taking it online, this is why you're getting the extra credit hours for it, right? Because we are doing a lab component. Now, Canvas and all of its helpfulness does divide this into class and lab as two separate Canvas classes. We are not going to use the lab page on Canvas. Don't even go there. Don't even click it. I'm going to set it up where if you click it, it's just going to be one big giant error message saying we're not using this. All right. Everything is going to be in the class homepage. It's just going to make it so much easier to manage. So you're only going to use this page for Canvas, with the exception of when some things are redirecting you to Google Drive to be sharing documents with your group mates. Yes. This class does require a group project. If you need to take a minute to be mad at me and swear and throw a shoe, take a moment, compose yourself, let's move on. I promise you I'm going to make this as painless a process as possible. I know a lot of you are probably thinking this was why I'm taking classes online because I have a crazy schedule and I can't meet with group members. And that's fine. You don't have to meet with them. I am setting this up in a way where all of your group work can be done by exchanging files online, emailing back and forth. Your schedule can be as crazy as it is. As long as you are cooperative with your group mates and figure out a way to do your share of the project, we're fine. You do not have to meet in person. I am asking everyone to please allow some grace with your group mates and acknowledging that most people take online classes for a reason. And a lot of times those reasons do relate to crazy schedules. Um, so establish some guidelines within your group of, hey, let's make sure we answer emails within 24 hours, even if it's to say, hey, I'm having a crazy week, I'll get back to you on Wednesday, whatever it is. Allow each other some grace, figure out a communication schedule that works for you. What we're going to be doing in the groups is you're actually going to be doing a research project in this research methods class. Your first keyword is duck. So keyword number one is duck, like the animal quack quack. Okay, so you're going to be doing an actual research project. You're going to develop a questionnaire. You're going to send it out on Google Forms. You're going to get data. I'm going to show you how to analyze the data. You're going to write up the results. I know you don't believe me, but it'll be fun, I promise. Um, it'll be an interesting study. So during the lecture component of the class, you're going to be learning about research methods. You're going to be learning about psychology as a science and how we do the research behind that science. And then you're going to get a chance to apply it. Um, so that's going to be the lab component of this class. You do need some proficiency with the, the Google Universe, Google Drive, Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Forms. And I'm going to do tutorial videos for all of that. So if you've never used them before, don't worry. I don't expect you to come to this class being an IT expert. I'm going to do tutorial videos for how to do all of that. There's no extra software you have to purchase or download. It's all online in the cloud. Um, so each week in this course, you're going to have class component activities and lab component activities. Your class component activities are always going to be the same thing. There's going to be consistency. You're going to have a discussion board and you're going to have a quiz. The discussion board, your response to a question I ask you is always going to be due Thursday by midnight. You're going to need to respond to three of your classmates 
classmates posts and that's always going to be due Sunday by midnight. So Thursday by midnight and Sunday by midnight. And then you're going to have a quiz. Your quiz is always going to be multiple choice questions. There will always be 25 questions with a 45 minute time limit. Now, obviously, if you have an accommodation of any sort that allows you extra time on quizzes, let me know. We will get that all squared away like we need to. So those are always going to be the weekly component. Um, if there's a week that you have not written a discussion post and taken a quiz, you have missed something. Now, the lab component, what you have to do is going to vary week by week based on where we are in the research project. The first week, your lab assignment is just submitting an idea. What's something you would like to research? The second week, your lab, com lab component is dividing into groups based on the ideas you guys came up with. And then from there, it's going to continue to build. There might be an introduction section due. There might be slides due. There might be your survey due. There might, it's just going to vary week to week. You can find all that in the syllabus schedule, and I'm going to keep everything updated on Canvas, which I'll show you in the next video how to navigate our Canvas course. Your second keyword is pink, like the color pink. Um, I do allow the use, let me back up a little bit. I take academic honesty very seriously. Do not cheat in my class. I am not so arrogant. I'm technologically proficient. I know how to find it. I know about those websites where you can get homework help and it's actually them doing your quiz for you. I, I know about them. I actually have developed first name relationships with people in the academic honesty department at those websites because of how many classes I've had to say, hey, this is my quiz and it's on your website and I need it taken down and I need to know the name of the person who uploaded it. Um, I will find you and then I will have to fail you and write a report and it's a whole thing. Just don't do it. I make my class where if you're putting in the effort, you're going to be able to pass. It's not worth cheating in my class. Please don't do it. I'm going to respect you. Please respect me. Don't share the course materials on any websites. Don't cheat in my class. Um, that being said, I do allow the use of AI technology within limits. I will post a link to my AI policy page. If you want to use AI tools to help proofread your papers and make you a better writer, Go for it. I will give you a tutorial for how to do that. I think it's a great idea. I think it's an amazing advancement, especially if you struggle with writing skills. Um, if you want to use AI tools to help generate some ideas of, hey, I'm kind of interested in the relationship between social media and jealousy. What are some ideas for how you could research this based on what's going on in the field right now? I am absolutely for you having a conversation with an AI chatbot to help kind of refine that idea and figure out what to do. I think it's an amazing tool. Um, and I think that learning how to use it is very valuable. So I'm not going to automatically count it as cheating or as plagiarism if you have it engaged with an AI chatbot. However, if you copy paste information from an AI bot, I do count that as plagiarism and I do count that as cheating and I will give a failing grade for that. That applies to discussion board posts. Don't use AI to write your discussion boards. And that does apply for paper proofing, paper generating. You can get suggestions from it. You cannot copy paste its edits. Canvas now has built in checkers for plagiarism and AI. There are other external tools that I subscribe to that are also checkers for plagiarism and AI. Like I said, I'm very technologically proficient and I will know if you do this. So please just don't. I'm happy to provide you with resources for improving your writing if you need that. But again, back to the foundational baseline of please don't cheat in my class. Okay. Um, I believe that's the main things you need to do know for a primary course overview and how the course is going to work. Oh, also there is a final exam in the class. It'll be cumulative from the whole semester's information. And that'll be the, the last week of class during finals week. Um, your lab final will be presenting your project using a, some sort of visual presentation. Um, you can use whatever online tools you would like to do that. You can do a voiceover PowerPoint. You can use uh, another fun software like Prezi or something like that. But that'll be your lab final, which will be due a couple weeks before finals week. And then you'll all have a chance to do like question and answer sessions on each other's presentations. 
and then your actual course final is there will be a cumulative final exam. It will also be multiple choice, um, but just so you're kind of prepped for that, check the dates on the syllabus for exactly when that is. So I believe that's the main course overview. The next video is going to be course navigation so you know where to find everything. Please feel free to email me with any question. Oh, that's the other thing. Sorry, one more thing. Um, email. Our faculty email spam filter takes its job very seriously. If you email me from anything other than your GCC email address, it is probably going to end up in spam. Um, don't email me from your work email. Don't email me from your personal email. Please make sure to either email me from your GCC email address or, well, for those of you who aren't at GCC, from your Maricopa email address, um, or use the Canvas messaging feature. Um, I actually prefer the Canvas messaging feature just because it, from a totally selfish perspective, it plays much more nicely with my phone than our faculty email does, and it makes it easier for me to check messages when I'm out and about just because you take online classes for a reason. I teach online classes for a reason. Sometimes my schedule is crazy too. Um, so it's much easier for me to check Canvas messages on the go um, and respond to those for you. The other thing is I'm enabling virtual office hours on Discord. If you're a gamer, you're probably already very familiar with Discord. Um, but it just it's a much easier interface for us to be able to hop on and either type chat or video chat or screen share chat, then going through, okay, let me make a, a Zoom link or a Google Meet link or this or that, we can just hop on and do it. Um, I'm sharing the link for that and the instructions for that right on the course homepage, and I'm gonna include that in the how to navigate this class video that we're gonna get to next. Your third keyword is tree. You will find your last two keywords on the next video.